Hi, this is Fan of FileMake. Today we're working on an unboxing of a FileMake Clear X4 quad core uh, tablet from WinTech Industries. Uh, we're at the welcome screen. We're going to go ahead and tap on start and we're going to let the tablet um, get started. We've already charged it for about six to eight hours. You just notice that it's got a full battery up here in the upper uh, right hand corner. So uh, we're just going to go through um, the unboxing and get it going. It does come with a quick start guide. Um, it's micro USB to USB cable and it's wall charger. The manual is available on the Wintech Industries website um, and they also have FEQs up there as well. And that website is www.wintechwintechind.com. That IND is short for Industries. Comes in, uh, I think, two different colors. This one is the uh, navy blue. I think the other one is a, a silver. All right, here we are. We have some uh, different Wi-Fi locations. We're gonna go ahead and connect to this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my password. I always click on show password to make sure that it's correct and I'm going to hit connect. It'll say authenticating, obtaining IP address and connected. If you get an authentication error, please contact your internet service provider because you've probably entered either an incorrect password or your password has changed. So um, you don't need to call One Tech Industries for that. Again, contact either your router manufacturer or your internet service provider to verify the information. Here we are going to um, have a Google account, so we're going to click on yes. And I'm going to enter in that real quick. I'm going to agree, and then it's going to go ahead and sign me in. Oh, I didn't put the right information in, so I'm going to try again. Hit OK. And I'm going to do OK for backup and restore. And now it's basically connecting me to the Google account. So whatever purchases I've made previously with that same Google account, it's going to remember it and then I'll be able to download those apps again without having to be charged. Is it going to remember what level I was on, let's say Angry Birds or Subway Surfer or Candy Crush? No, it's not. But at least I don't have to pay for those games if there was a charge. Here I'm going to agree to this. I'm going to tap on this, the, um, the arrow and tap again. And tells me setup is complete. I'm going to tap on finish. And we're going to make yourself at home. And then as you can see, touch to see all your apps touch the circle. And now I'm in my apps folder, just as the screen indicates, I can add a app to my home screen by holding, touching and holding it. So I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to do that for one in particular. So I'm going to take my finger, swipe across the screen, and I'm going to do settings, tap and hold, and I'm going to place it on my home screen right there, because we're going to come back to settings. Here we're going to do a brief introduction of the, the screen itself. These are your most used apps on the right hand side. This is how do you get to your apps folder. You have your Wi-Fi beacon in the upper right, your battery usage, your time. Over here you have um, the Google search, your notification trays here. You can do that by simply take your finger and pull down. And that tells you everything that's coming up. Notice I have three new messages. I was downloading Instagram. It looks like it's going to download for me. And then I have 13 new updates. And we'll talk about that here shortly. This is the icon for uh, microphone. Return home button and recent apps. So we're gonna go to settings and I'm just gonna set up a couple different um, options here. Notice that we are at the Wi-Fi screen because that's what's highlighted. And you notice there's some options on the left-hand side. If I wanna see more of those options, I'm gonna just turn the tablet this way. And you notice now I can see all, pretty much all the options down the left-hand side from Wi-Fi all the way down to about tablet. So the first one we're gonna start with is display. And I'm going to set the sleep functionality to 30 minutes, but it looks like it already is. So I'm just going to tap on that. 
The next one I'm going to talk about is storage. And there are two different internal storages. This is the first one, it's small, has about 1.98 gigabytes. Then there's a second one that's 13.56 gigabytes. When you download apps, they're going to go to this smaller internal space. Okay, and you'll need to move them from this smaller space to the larger space to make your tablet work at its best or optimize it, all right? Your battery is located here, and this is just going to tell you what is your battery amount. 91% and it's not charging it's telling me that the screen is using 96% of the battery right now and in my apps and when I tap on apps you notice I have downloaded on SD running and all okay if I turn the tablet sideways again you'll see that I'll have more space to review that and you will see it right there so this downloaded is what I've already downloaded and it's taking up this amount of space on the internal storage. I might have some of these that I might be able to move or be eligible to move to a larger internal space. They do not have any check marks. So I'm gonna tap on Facebook and I'm gonna see if I can move it to the larger internal space. And that's called move to SD card. It does not mean that I'm actually gonna move it to an external SD card, which would go right here. Can't move apps to outside their environment. So I'm just gonna tap on move to SD and now it's gonna move that app to the larger internal memory space. When you see move the tablet, then that up, then, then it's been done. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do that for Instagram. Move to SD card. And once it's done, it'll say move to tablet. In the meantime, while it's doing that, we're gonna talk about security. And there it goes, I just did it. And in security, there's a slide lock at the very first screen. I'm gonna choose none. If you choose to do any of these other ones and you don't remember what it is, you'll have to do an external hard reset. So I would encourage you not to use any at all, none. Okay? People ask, where is the factory data reset if I need to do it? It's under backup and reset. So if you look at your screen, Wi-Fi at the top, Backup and resets right there, and then there's the factory data reset. So you tap on that, it'll tell you, you know, um, erase your data, and it'll tell you your Google account, and then it'll reset the tablet. We're not going to do that, so we're going to get out of there, and we're back to the home screen. Um, you can decide if you want to move these apps out. See, I just took Chrome out of this toolbar, and I'm now taking the Play Store out. If I wanted to put settings and put it there, I can. So you can totally customize this tray. This is kind of your favorite tray of what you wanna do. Let's go back to settings because I forgot to talk about date and time for a second. So we're gonna to go to date and time and it's right here. You wanna make sure that automatic date and time is not checked and it should have the correct date down below um, and the correct time and in the, the correct time zone, okay? Let's go back to the Play Store and in the Play Store, a couple things to remember is it's going to keep a record of what you've downloaded here by tapping on that arrow with the line. And it's going to talk about all the apps that are come already installed on the tablet. And this might be covered in part two, so I apologize if it's somewhat duplicated. But you see, these are all the apps that need to be updated. You could allow to do automatic updating or you can choose to do when you want to do updating. I suggest that you don't allow automatic updating. So you have to go in here one by one deselect allow automatic updating. Why is that? It's because when you turn your tablet on and you connect to Wi-Fi, these apps are gonna go searching to see if they have an update for them to go do. And if you wanna use your tablet, let's say you have a kid who wants to use their tablet, he's gonna to have to wait until all these updates are done for him to be, before he can use his tablet. So to get around that is to make sure that you, the parent or the user is going to be in charge of updating these apps on a regular basis. Typically, in, in, in our home, we update every Friday night. Kids turn over their tablets, and Friday night we go ahead and we update all the tablets, and then Saturday morning they're good to go. Okay? So when we need to update these tablets, we just need to hear and tap update all, and then we can do it at our convenience. Otherwise, they'll do it all by themselves whenever they want to do it. 
and it'll reduce your bandwidth in your network. All right. So with that being said, um, that's all we have here for basic introductions. Um, going back to settings, actually, I'm sorry, let's go back to the apps folder. You have a couple different browsers. Browser one is here. And this is the default browser. It should take you to the Google homepage. Um, it say that you might want to check for potentially harmful behavior. You say, okay, sure, accept. And there you are, you're at the Google homepage. Let's say you type in, you know, just for example, fun and hit go. You should get quite a number of different stuff that comes up. There's fun the band, fun Facebook, Wahoo's Family Fun, um, so forth and so on, Fun Brain, uh, Fun Topic, Family Fun Zone, whatever you like to do. You also have another browser. It's called Chrome. And it should also load up for you. Now, which browser you choose to use is up to you. Um, I'm not a big fan of Chrome myself, but some people like it. And here you are. You can take a tour and do whatever you like to do and set up the tabs the way you like it. So those are your two browsers to browse the internet. Keep in mind that you will have to clear your temporary internet browsing pages at least once a week if you're um, a person who visits the internet. So you do that by going to settings and you go to apps and you go to all and you go to browser and you go clear data, okay? That means all whatever pages you visited, all that's gonna get deleted, all right? And that sums it up for part one of the FileMate Clear X4. Please look for uh, video two about Instagram, Facebook, and permissions. Thanks so much and have a great day.